Rocking with PettyBlog.com. It's your boy Snoop D O Double G, and you are now watching the Petty Blog. I can't be on the Petty Blog. <laughs> petty and T. Petty. So they already know that I'm dropping the T. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. So verbatim, Kevin Hart is suing controversial YouTuber Latasha Kebby, known as Tasha K, for extortion after she allegedly threatened to release a bombshell interview with his former assistant unless he paid her a six-figure ransom. Oh wow. According to a lawsuit obtained by Page Six Wednesday, Kebby sat down with the actor's former assistant, Maisha Shakes, in November to record an interview in which the latter made false and defamatory statements regarding Hart. The comedian, 44, claims that after the interview, an alleged affiliate of Kebby called the team and threatened to publish the interview unless Hart paid a ransom of $250,000. And if Kevin Hart's team is watching this, they're going to know what I'm talking about. They're going to know. Wow, that sure was a bold move. At the time, they allegedly warned Hart that the stories told, which had to do with his marriage and business dealings, would be damaging to his reputation. Um... Kebby then posted a teaser for the interview in which she and Shakes allegedly touted the supposedly salacious and damaging nature of the interview as a threat to Hart for not paying the ransom. It's another one in the office. And he's still leaving semen stains all over the counter at the yes. heartbeat. Specifically warning that when you don't pay, you have to get money by any means necessary, the lawsuit claims. At that point, the Jumaji Star team allegedly contacted the police and sent the YouTuber a cease and desist letter noting that Shakes had previously signed a non-disclosure agreement as well as a confidentiality agreement while working for Hart from 2017 until 2020. Yet on December 22nd, Kebby allegedly told Hart that she would still be posting the full interview. Locked in non-disclosures and they're not able to talk and protect themselves. In the interview, Shakes touched on several legal disputes in which he had been involved and alleged that the father of four has a gambling addiction and is a habitual cheater. The actor is now suing both women for extortion and invasion of privacy. I'm never scared. He is also suing Shakes for breach of contract and defamation. Meanwhile, he is also trying to get Kebby for intentional interference with contractual relations. Yes, this isn't the first time that the online personality has gotten into trouble with the law, as Hart pointed out in the lawsuit. Hart's lawyer cited Tasha's a long history with defamatory and otherwise improper content regarding celebrities and other high-profile individuals, including Cardi B. For instance, most recently, she was found liable for damages exceeding $3 million in a defamation lawsuit by the musician Cardi B, the lawsuit read, pointing to the rapper's January 2022 win against the YouTuber. The Bodak Yellow rapper had sued Kebby in 2019 after the latter posted videos claiming the Grammy winner had prostituted herself, was addicted to hard Uggs, was unfaithful to her husband Offset, had contracted the H-word, and even once effed herself with beer bottles. To which Cardi described her as an evil person. Although Kebby filed for bankruptcy after losing the case, a judge later ruled that she couldn't use her financial ruin to avoid paying the rapper. According to court records, Tasha's assets total out to $58,595, including a 2021 Chevrolet Silverado that's collateral, two Louis Vuitton purses, $95 in her bank account, and her YouTube channel, which is listed as unknown. The bankruptcy filing reportedly also includes Tasha's Google account asset worth $10,000 that was garnished in 2022 by Cardi's attorneys. A shared income between Tasha and her husband was also listed at $156,000 in 2021 and $134,000 in 2022 from their online content creation. The document also includes an income of $30,000 from the pair. Mm. But the point is that Tasha K is getting sued left and right, first Cardi, now Kevin Hart. It's not sure how much he's suing for, but he's coming for her. And if y'all didn't know, after she made allegations that Steve Harvey cheated on his wife and she was cheating on him as well, blah 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 or whatever, Steve also wanted to sue her, but he's never filed a lawsuit, as the busy man probably has bigger fish to fry. Yeah. <laughs> But this is all crazy and we honestly think that Tasha K doesn't care because if she did, she wouldn't keep on doing these things. I'm just saying, that's crazy. And these celebrities are keeping her in debt with the money that she doesn't even have.
Mm -mm. I just can't afford the four million. I don't have it. I know I look like I got it, but I don't have it. Look at this. But what are y'all thinking? You really want to know? So leave your thoughts below. Like and share this video. Subscribe to this channel. And if you haven't done so yet, be sure to hit that bell to join the notification gang. Pettyblog.com signing out.